Hello everyone. Okay, let's take a look at section 2E.2, which is geometric series. So let's start off again with a sequence first. And let's say that if u sub n is geometric, then the series of the first or the sum of the first n terms, okay, which is represented by this, is called a geometric series. Now there's two ways again that we can go that we can evaluate what that series will equal. And it's using this or this. So notice that we're talking about the, the sum of the first n terms of a geometric sequence is going to be the summation from i is equal to 1 to n of u sub i. This is going to be equal to u sub 1 times it by the quantity r to the n minus 1 divided by r minus 1, or it is going to be equal to u sub 1 times by 1 minus r to the n divided by 1 minus r. So, again, let's go through the same process that we did for the arithmetic series. What information do you actually need? Well, the two pieces of information that we need is n, or sorry, the three pieces of information that we need is the u sub 1, because we need to know what the first term is. We also need to know what the common ratio is. And we also need to know how many terms you're adding up. Let's go ahead and take a look at an example. Let's say, for example, that our geometric sequence is 2, 4, 6, 8, dot, 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 64. So we know, just by looking at this, that the geometric sequence can be u sub n is equal to 2 to the n. So given that the case, do we know what u sub 1 is? Well, sure we do. It's when n is equal to 1, and that's going to be a value of 2. So we know that u sub 1 is equal to 2. Do we know what r is? Well, the common ratio is just going to be 4 divided by 2, which is 2, 8 divided by 4, which is 2. So we know that r is going to be 2. Do we know what n is? Well, if we do some calculation here, I know that 64, if that's the u sub n term, is going to be 2 to the n. Well, then that means that n, well, what is this? That's 2 to the sixth power is equal to 2 to the n, so that means that n has to be equal to 6. Okay, so we know that n has to be equal to 6. Given this information here, we can now go ahead and find the sum or the series of the first six terms of this particular geometric sequence. So let's go ahead and start. So, S, now how many terms are we adding up? We're adding up six of these terms, okay? Of u sub i is going to be equal to u sub 1, which is this first value of 2, times it by r, which is 2. Oh, I'm going to use brackets here because there's going to be a grouping symbol within a grouping symbol. So this is going to be 2, and then we know that n, again, is going to be 6, so this is 6 minus 1, all divided by 2 minus 1. Okay, so let's go ahead and calculate what this is. This is going to be 2, 2 to the 6th, uh, that's of course going to be 64 minus 1, divided by 2 minus 1, which is just 1. So this is just 2 times by 63. We know that this is going to be 126. Okay, so if I added all of these terms up here, I would come up with 126. Okay, now, what's the difference between this here and this, oh sorry, this means of evaluating the geometric series, or this here. Now, let's go ahead and do the same one and let's see what the difference is here. So, or is there a difference? There shouldn't be a difference in the answer, but what's the difference in terms of the procedure? So notice that we still come up with the two. This is one minus, this is two raised to the sixth power. 
all divided by 1 minus 2. So this is going to be 2, that's going to be 1 minus 64, which is a negative 63. And this is going to be divided by negative 1. So notice the negatives will cancel, and you're still going to come up with 2 times it by 63, which is equal to 126. Now what's the difference with this, between these two? Is that this one here, because the value of r, which is right here, is greater than 1, if we use this here, we actually come up with a negative. And the negative is actually going to appear both in the denominator as well as the numerator. But it would just be much easier if, say for example, we use this one, and then we don't have to worry about any negatives. So, you can use either one, but in general, if r is greater than 1, then you use this one so that everything is positive. If r is less than 1, then you want to use this one so that, again, everything turns positive. And that's the only difference between those two forms of the geometric series in order to evaluate what that sum would actually be for the geometric sequence. Okay, so see you again next time.